Hey there, welcome to Govinda's Garden. We're in Western North Carolina and it's a mid-October day and I wanted to share some findings that I've learned about Bermuda grass. Um, we've been moved into this on this land uh, about two years ago and most of it was covered in Bermuda grass. It used to be an old pasture or tobacco farm but a lot of the the homes have these Bermuda grass lawns with mixtures of different things like some clover, some tobacco grass, etc. But focusing on Bermuda grass specifically, um, it's really strong. And I want to show you this uh, this really good visual example of something I've learned about Bermuda grass. What you're seeing here is an area where we put some tarps over the grass with the intention of creating a bed for the upcoming season. And this was covered all throughout the summer. And you can see that the grass really has been suppressed in this area. But over here is another story. Like we have grass that came up um, covered by that blue tarp, which I'll talk about in just a second. But the parts that were covered was using this kind of old um, black plastic that we found, as well as these camo darker colored tarps uh, from a hardware store. Um, so what I think I'm seeing is that the darker color camo dark green and especially the black were covering this area that really did a good job of suppressing the grass. Whereas this blue tarp, um, you can see that the grass would just come through and bust through the tarp. Now, maybe it's just this tarp wasn't strong, uh, as strong as the black plastic or the camo tarp, but what my hypothesis is, is that it has to do a lot with light. Um, and I have another observation to kind of back up that hypothesis. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit on the uh, south area of our yard. So we've done a lot of plantings of fruit trees and shrubs. And as I walk north, um, this area is very bright. We get a lot of sun that rises over here and goes up. And so there's not really much tree canopy here. So there's a lot of light, a lot of sunshine in this area. And if we rewind time two years ago when I first moved in here, I covered this whole half of our property basically with cardboard and wood chips, kind of like the back to Eden, uh, Paul Gauchy method. You can see wood chips there. And if I dig a little further, there's probably some remnants of cardboard. But what you mostly see is Bermuda grass because it came back. It came back this spring and summer and, you know, I've been trying to fight it for a while, but kind of surrendering to it and just trying to understand it better. But back to the observation I had. So here we are on the, you know, south, south area, lots of sunshine, right? And we can see that what once was wood chips has been covered over by the Bermuda grass. But as we move south now, um, we have this big two trees here. So one's a wild cherry tree and then a poplar tree. And behind them in our neighbor's yard, there's another big tree. But these trees are creating a lot of shade. And if we look at the ground here, I mean, it's I'm backing up now, but in the sunny, we can go sunny area, lots of Bermuda grass. And then as we get into the more shaded area of the yard, like, you can see mostly wood chips. So the Bermuda grass hasn't really penetrated this zone as much. And I think it's, it has to do with sunlight because this is the one of the shadiest areas of our yard due to these big trees. And uh, we planted a bunch of pawpaw here as well as some strawberry ground cover. So the, I think the strawberry may be helping um, compete with the Bermuda grass, but I think it's more of a light as a sunlight thing. Um, because Bermuda grass, any 
chance it has at some sun or some air, it'll pop through, it'll bust through cardboard, it'll bust through tile, it'll br bust through anything and it just spreads underground. So I think it has a lot to do with the sunshine. And kind of going back to our old plot here, like the blue tarp, um, I don't know the science behind it, but black absorbs a lot of the light. Darker colors absor absorb more light. So this light blue color, maybe it, the sun was penetrating through it more than the dark ones. And therefore the grass had more fuel, more energy to grow. So I hope that over time as our orchard grows, we create more canopy, more shade. And then the Bermuda grass, I think will naturally calm down. And then we can plant more native, perennial, edible, more desirable plants. Um, but right now it's the Bermuda grass that is the alpha species covering all this kind of bare, bare land that gets a lot of sun so we'll see what happens over the years but that's where we are right now and um if you like if you want to join our journey of learning how to grow food and and work with perm permaculture and organic growing methods uh be sure to subscribe to our channel and i'll see you next time